Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. When I covered this DeepSeek model few days back, one question which has frequently popped up that if it is possible to install it locally and if we could integrate it with a lot of AI powered code editors or code plugins which enables you to do code completion or code rewrite. The short answer is yes now you can and i will show you how to do that in this video but whether you should do it or not so i will be upfront as is the spirit of this channel i don't think so that's a good idea for such a large model and i will also give you the reasons why i don't think so that's a good idea anyway if you don't know what this deep seek model is especially the version 3 Please go to my channel and search with DeepSeek and you will see this first video which I did around a couple of weeks ago where we went into great detail around the architecture, the introduction and then a very thorough testing of this model on various benchmarks. I have no qualms in saying that at the moment this is the best open source model out there. I believe that its number of parameters are close to 700 and the performance is really out of this world in some cases i have even seen it beating world's number one model gpt 40 and also the anthropics cloud so that is why i am um, quite excited about this model but the thing is that models this huge they uh, simply are not meant for local running because one not everyone has that kind of resource not even the enterprises has that kind of multi gpus cluster with all uh, the bells and whistles to run these huge models in full precision or even in half precision in their own data centers or even in their cloud so the best way of running these models is through hosted services and i already have covered that in that channel in that video where you can check it out what i mean by that so having said that let me show you how you can get it installed and then how you can um, integrate it with any other tool you like before that let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are IgentBot. IgentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay coming back to our topic of today as how to install this thing uh, locally so unsloth which is a tool which i already have covered extensively on the channel has released this quantized versions of this deep seek v3 in gguf format including quantized level of 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 bit also they have dequantized the model to upload the bf16 or floating point 16 variant to the hugging face and you can uh, check it out on this hugging face model card and i will drop the link to it in videos description which you can check it out so minimum hardware requirement minimum bare minimum hardware requirement to run this in the lowest cot available is at least you should have 48 gb of vram and 207 gb of disk space for 2 bit uh, and i know 2 bit doesn't really make sense and i will show you why i am saying that so if you go to that model card you will see this so if you run it in the q2 level and with extra small you will see that occupies 207 gb if you run it in q8 it occupies 712 gb because look it's a huge model right and normally the rule which i follow is that if i have to use quant level i normally go with uh, q4 km or preferably q5 km if i don't have space or gpu card and if i could i would always go with q8 but because at q2 and q3 even some of the q4 ks ones the accuracy precision of the model just goes down the drain now the tool which you are going to use for in order to run this is llama.cpp if you don't know what llama.cpp is just go to my channel and search with llama.cpp llama.cpp uh, primarily allows you to do llm inference locally with minimal setup and state-of-the-art performance on cpu gpu apple silicon cuda and lot of other backends and i already have covered that in detail on the channel and how to 
get it installed uh, very very easily so please do check it out now having said that let me show you how you can actually get it running and working so let's suppose we want to install this q2kxs version of this deep seek for that all you need to do is to run this command after you have installed llama.cpp and as i said you watch that video which i just showed you about llama.cpp installation then go to the directory of llama.cpp wherever you have installed it and then from there run this llama cli first up you would need to specify this model and before you do that of course you would need to download this model now how do you download it go to hugging face website of this deep seek v3 gguf go to files and then scroll down from here you see that there is this directory deep seek v3 q2 kxs click on it and then either you can use uh, the snapshot download or hugging face cli or simply just download these five files in the same directory name here so this will be the first directory this will be the second directory and then just click on these icons downward arrows to download these files as you can see that each file is around 45 gig of uh, gigabytes so make sure that you have around 210 gigabytes on your disk for this one so once you have downloaded the model then this is where you are this model is where you are giving the path and if you go to the very right you will see that we are just specifying the first shard of that model there are five of it so you just need to do the first one and then the cache type k is q5 so this is where kv cache is coming into play i already have done a video on kv cache but just to give you a bit of an idea so kv cache consists to spare the recomputation of key and value tensor of past tokens at each generation steps by storing or caching the tensors in gpu memory so basically we are trying to save the memory against the compute so as the tensors are computed along the generation process we are just caching them so that is what this kv cache is doing now having said that also um, this should um, we are only using the k quantization here not the v quantization so this is why we have just given it cache type is k and then we are using 16 thread so this is more becomes um, important if you are just doing it on cpu and yes you can do it on cpu you don't really need the gpu for this uh, just to run it but it will be very slow so one tip of speeding it up on cpu is to just increase the number of threads um, and mainly it is suited for windows or linux systems and then this is a prompt which is a simple prompt where we are asking it what is one plus one and then that's pretty much it this is a user and then assistant is going to reply and then you should get a reply like this so uh, i'm not i have tried installing it but it's it was very very slow and it's one line so i just thought okay i'll just show you because i really don't see any point in running this small quad level locally because it more than likely it is not going to give you a proper answer one plus one yes it might give you a correct answer but i think for a meaningful benchmarking this doesn't make sense i think for a meaningful benchmarking at least i would go with this q5km so which is around 443 gig of um, disk space which i don't have and then even if i arrange this much i would need at least multi gpu cluster even to run this quad level which i don't have unfortunately i my max is 80 gp so that's why i didn't show you the hands on but now if you have that sort of hardware go for it you have the command and you know how to run it all step by step and then please do share uh, share how you go that's it and if you're looking for a multi gpu cluster or gpu student go to mastcompute.com i will drop the link to their website in video's description and i'm also going to give you a 50 percent discount coupon so that you can also check it out thank you for watching